Okay, as you can see, I used a vacuum table. Uh, since there's no vents, in order to pull out the air and gases. I've also built one that hooks up with a vacuum cleaner, and it works pretty good too. And the, one of the big keys for sand casting is to pour excess metal if you can, to have a lot of metal to push it down into the mold. Now if you look at this, you can see there's a, a plastic, it's actually a water bottle cap in the top with holes drilled in it. And that keeps this from being sucked in. It's, it's nice and flat. Um, you can, there, there's no divot, so it's not gonna pull the clay down inside there. So let's see, so try and do this quick. The, the key here to knowing if you had a good cast is when you take away the clay on the bottom and you can see the prongs. That's how you know that you got it. And I can see all, all six prongs down there. Get a little closer there. So that's a good sign, uh, but the, I'm not going to make the video too long here. Well, let's let's just do this just to just for the heck of it, so everybody can see it. There we go. Normally, I wouldn't do it like this because I don't want to mix in all the burnt with the good clay. Um, but I want you to see that there's the ring. So we had a good cast. And we'll end it right here. Thank you.